Welcome to another super quick Photoshop tutorial. This time we're going to learn how to do the knockout text effect. So once you have your image, just head right over to your shape tool here, right click, make sure you're on rectangle or pick whatever other shape you want. Let's make a box that's not too close to the edge. Let's kind of make one that's somewhat centered. Don't worry about exactly the size or anything just yet. Make your box. Head over to the text tool and write what you want. Just make sure that it's not white so we can actually see it. So I'm going to write knockout. So as you can see, my text is pretty close to the right size. If yours isn't, then just double click back on your text layer and play around with your size. So I'm actually going to make it maybe a little bit smaller. And as far as fonts go, just pick one. Don't pick one that's skinny or too fat. Pick one that's just kind of like a normal medium one like this one's this one's a pretty good font just a simple straightforward one okay next i'm going to move my text into place and then if i need to i'm going to click on my rectangle layer i'm going to go control t and then i'm just going to kind of resize my rectangle to kind of fit around knockout so you want to have kind of the same amount of space on this side and this side and the same amount of space on this side and this side then just click check up here now what we're going to do is go over to this knockout layer here, our actual text. We're going to right click, go up to the top to blending options, and we're going to go to this little thing here that says knockout. So click the menu and go to shallow and then slide it all the way to the left and click OK. And you can see we already have the knockout effect done. Now what's great about doing it this way instead of the traditional way where you might have gone typed out your word then you might have gone over here and you might have held control and clicked on this layer to create this outline of your text. Then you might have gone over to your rectangle layer, which you would have needed to rasterize that shape. And then once you have that selection and you're on the rectangle, you might have gone like delete or backspace. And if we look at that, if we get rid of our text layer, then yes, it creates that effect, but it's stuck on this box. There's, if you need to move something again, it's, it's destructive, it's stuck there. The beauty of using the knockout method is that now everything is non-destructive. So I can now still go to this text and move it around in this box, right? I can go in and change the font, change the size, change everything still as many times as I need to get it the exact way that I want. But let's also take a look at what happens if we try and apply an image adjustment to this background layer. So if we go over to a background layer and click on image adjustments here, and let's see we add a black and white, you can see that it affects the image, but the part that's knocked out is still in color in here. That's because this knockout, the knockout effect that we applied to this is knocking out through this layer and through this right down to the background. So to change that, we need to take this layer, click on it, and then hold control and click on our rectangle as well, and then put them in a group, put them in this folder here. And now you can see that the knockout goes just through what's in the group, but does not affect what is outside of the group. So this is where it starts to not affect anything. And if we go back into blending options on our text layer, and we go in and we change knockout from shallow to deep, this is where you can see that deep will now affect everything, including what's out of the folder right down to the background, but shallow would only affect what's in this group with it. And then finally, the last thing I'm going to do is just change the color of my rectangle. So I'm going to go over to rectangle, I'm going to right click go up to blending options again and this time I am going to select color overlay and then all I'm going to do is click on this little box and play around with my colors in here until I get something that I want so I think I want a kind of a bright color that kind of stands out so I'm good with that click OK and OK and you are done that's how you create a very simple knockout text effect in Photoshop